be out of your hook in giants. I'm shaking. This thing is huge. The turns are insane. What the fuck is this? So I've got it down in this corner. It can't get out of there, so that's good. Clear open water to, to uh, land it on 60 heel line. It's in a great spot, and it's huge. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this thing flipped in, in, in like the, the uh, first um, like two, three minutes of the fight. Dude, tried to lock it a couple times and nearly insta broke. It runs down like right there. It flips right there, monster head, and then it flipped again. In the weeds, I saw the reflection, and then a minute later, it goes back there and flips inside the rock, and I saw the reflection, and the reflection is huge. Like, just the reflection is massive, and I saw the head, too. Just kind of fighting it on 22 drag for now, because I'm not trying to, uh... turn my Vanga into nothing. Oh, boy, it just flipped again. The reflection just came out again. Almost didn't see the head because it's like kind of clipping into the land back there, but. Jesus, dude, this thing's big. That's huge. It's. I think it's a hundred plus. Old Ladoga, Monster Baltic. Gotta love it. That's what you can't see it, which sucks, but you know how it is. Dude, it, it's flipped like seven, eight times now, but half the time it's half the time it's back like glitched into the rocks because these rocks are really glitchy and you only phase through most of them. The, this reflection is massive. I'm like full on shaking right now. And it just glitched completely out of the water. Okay. I think that was the tail or something, but I saw like a fish bolted colored flash happen there on that turn. That was just gonna hang out on 22 drag and let it sit in that corner all day. Nope, that's just my line going. Uh it's literally have had it on for as long as the fight timer has been going. It's only been 15 minutes. Like, this thing is... Yeah. This is huge. You're serious, right? You're telling me you could actually... Wait. I've, I've been joking about potentially getting Trophy Baltics on Old Logo, but, like, it... Holy crap, the tail just came out again. What the f... Yo, what is that? The tail keeps popping out, but it's 140 meters away. So it's hard to see, but... That tail keeps coming out. I feel like I've hooked a 300 kilo beluga. I'm gonna be honest. That's kind of what this feels like. A line is glitching every time it turns. What the hell? <laughs> This thing is turning, dude. Alright, back to do the first mission I was trying to do. I'm not really sure if I got the title right because I set this up basically crying. Uh, or inside, I was crying inside, not outside. My reel was screaming, so I probably didn't get the title right. I'll fix that later when this thing calms down more. Um... Yeah, this is this is big. The turns are huge. What the fuck? Oh, I think this is over a hundred. <laughs> I'm 
gonna go out on a limb and put that out there. I think this is over a hundred. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. This is fun. This is fun. Keep the composure. Keep it in the corner. I just wish there wasn't... I wish the, the rocks back there weren't as buggy and the fish wouldn't glitch in them as much so I, every time it flipped it would've got clean screenshots. Instead of just a head and a clean reflection. At least the reflection looked huge. Not gonna lie, from this far away, the reflection alone looked like the uh, the head on the 98 I had on the Palomar a few, like a week or so ago. Just the just the reflection, not even the, the head, which is insane. God, stop. And to think I'm supposed to walk this back on 60 kilo line. <laughs> well. Not really walk it back, more like max drag it back, but... 60 kilo line, this is gonna be... rough. Okay. Okay, can you not turn for two seconds? Thank you. Oh, no, no, uh, going back to it? Okay, fine. Just two, just stop turning for like three, four seconds, please. Holy crap, I'm shaking. Yeah, so this has already done 3%, and I've basically had my drag on 20%, so it started at 5.2. Oh, sh... This is the rod with 60% line guide damage, and it's already taken 3% line guide damage. I might end up having to fight the fish like this at some point, because the line... Because uh, I'll be racing my line guides. Well... <laughs> So this is a really bad situation. I'm now racing my land guides. Possibly, I don't, I don't know. My Kaluga did like 30% land guide damage, but it wasn't turning or running nearly like half as hard as this. 180 Beluga only did like 15 land guide, if that, like 10, 15%. This thing's already done three, four percent, 15 minutes. This is crazy. Ah. Wrong button. Yeah, and 12% blank. Okay, it's already done some blank damage too. And the tail just came out again. <laughs> Dude, I'm not dumb. <laughs> I locked it the first couple times and it pulled through really fast, but like not insanely fast, and then it almost insta broke me, and I was like, okay, now we're we're done with that. And then I let it run, and within 30 seconds, it was like a minute, literally 60 seconds into the fight, it was over there flipping, and then it flipped two minutes later there, and then a minute later right there, and I'm just like, okay. This thing is going crazy. This thing's big. This is like, at that moment, I realized this is not just a, not just a 60. <sighs> ah, this thing is turning harder and running faster than my tenfold compared to my 98 that I had. And it almost just flipped again. Okay, time to work on attempting. I say attempting to get the... Link. Dude, I've hooked a monster. <laughs> I've hooked a legitimate monster. So, uh, 
in your di or in our Discord, I posted two screenshots: one of the head, and one of the reflection of the head. It's flipped probably about. It's flipped probably about ten times or so. The tail's popped out of the water, and sometimes when it turns, it bugs the line out, and the line goes insane. Dude, this thing is huge. From as far away as it is now, god damn, okay. So as far away as it is now, the reflection of this one's head looked like my 98 head that I had of the last Baltic. My 98 Baltic. The tail just came out again. But the uh, it, it looks like the head of the reflection is literally bigger than my 98, and my 98 was three meters away from me, if that. It was literally netting distance. And this one's, oh, I don't know, 100 and something? 100 and, well, how much? 140 meters, probably, 130 meters? Probably more than that. No, it's gotta be like 170, 180 meters. And this thing's looking bigger. Like, just the reflections. This thing is kind of scarily big. It did, like, some crazy triple turn, and then even with my rod fully left pointing at the cafe, it still outturned my rod and then went this way, so. Yeah, it does. It's got a very thick body, too. The tail is decently large as well. Because it kicked the tail up before stream started. And I saw the whole part of the tail. Didn't get the screenshot, but that tail was big. <sighs> Calm down, fish. Just get, let me get the shareable link. Thank you. Okay, calm down. Ten seconds. That's all I need. Stop. Not even ten seconds, just a couple seconds. God, the reflection got half the fish sticking out of the water, too. That is a huge fish. Wish I could have seen that. I, I wish those rocks there weren't buggy and the fish could get inside them. I wish they were not like that. Kind of like the rocks that are right over there by the camp plates. If you put your camp plates down, your camp plates can fall into the rock. And I accidentally figured that one out. Let me get back up on my stand. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, actually, that's a really good spot to put a Baltic right there. It's a great spot. Oh my god, line. Stop bugging out. Yeah, so this is what my net looks like so far. Got a 12 kilo bourbon in there out of nowhere. Thought it was like an 8, 10 kilo Baltic, but no, it was just a massive bourbon. Let me drink, let me drink, let me drink. God. Stop. For two seconds. Dude, it's, it's been slacking the entire fight. Like, even shift reeling, it still slacks me, okay? Just full, it'll, it'll just do like four or five turns in a row of just pure slack, and it's terrifying. I don't like it. No, I've been doing better on, on rhinos. I've been doing better on rhinos, actually. I've had a lot more fish on rhinos. I've had only three fish on moles. No, four fish on moles, five fish. Five fish on moles. Two burbot, one burbot trophy, and so I've had two burbot, twelve kilo burbot trophy, and then like a fifth, and then a fifteen and like an eighteen or like a fifteen and twenty Baltic, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere I have this, and I'm slightly racing my rod damage here, but it's whatever. Oh, it's slowing down slightly. 
Baltic dies so fast though, which is good. How can you not set clip? You just need a control and a plus button. Or you can rebind it to something else. I'm pretty sure. Maybe you can't. I don't know. Oh. Wow. Well. Great. Started it. This reel started at 5% friction break, and I've been just gonna leave it at 23. See so if I can't get it to turn back into the corner where it flipped like three, four times. Imagine this is somehow bigger than my beluga. <laughs> and then the initial fish that I was supposed to get 200 kilo plus on is my first 200 kilo plus fish will be the third fish I get 200 kilo plus on. Imagine. Cause I already got the Kaluga, so that's, that's that done. I'll, I'll try for him maybe next year. I don't know. Baltic, I want to get over 100. I've got 98 point something at the moment. Just ever so slightly bigger than my, or smaller than my Troll 98 9 cat. Or was it, yeah. I thought it was high 98 or low 99, something like that. Bro, flip again, I wanna see you. I swear he was flipping like crazy. Like before I started streaming, he flipped like seven, eight, nine times back in the reed and I saw his reflection. Just barely though, like just the tip of the reflection, but I saw the reflection, or I saw the reflection of the tail or something. Now he's just not. Glad he's big enough that he can't actually get back that canal, and I've had salmon on UL get back there behind that canal, and they're just gone. No stopping them. Alright, he's flipped right there multiple times, so he could do it again. Is that it? He just kind of stopped. One, he actually held himself up for a good five, six seconds at one point because I was just reeling and he just stopped completely and I was like, what? And I was so confused and I looked over and I saw a reflection it was just standing there. But again, it like wasn't the whole reflection, it was just a little part of the reflection because it was, it had to over reflect the, it had to get out of the reeds first, but that was kind of cool, I guess. If only I could have seen the whole thing. If only this thing cooperated and I actually went to the cafe. That would have been nice. But this is why we can't have nice things. So. <laughs> I see what you did to that screenshot. 
beat a <laughs> seagull for reference. This is one of those moments where I just sit here and hold the mouse button down. Turn around to the side and hope I can get him to maybe flip. Although I can't really see out that far. So I just have to wait until he stops for a second like that. And then check. Well, yeah, this thing has scary turns. Dude, when this thing was like basically right under me, when I first hooked it and it was turning, it was scary. Like, scary, scary. God, monster turns. Wait, BD, if you go check Mind Games profile, I'm pretty sure his Baltic and Beluga are like 20 kilos apart. Because he, or not 20 kilos apart, but the trophy weights are really close. He's got a like 550 Beluga, I think, and then a 220 Baltic, so he's got two relatively close uh, Baltics. So I'm pretty sure the tail just poked out again there for a second. I just saw a ripple in the water. God, if only reflections weren't as strong. But then I wouldn't have been able to see if it flipped. Well, yeah, I know, but... I'm just curious now. Oh, you're not? Yeah, I was gonna say. Now, now that you say that, I actually want to know. How long are Baltics? Compared to... Lugas, because I pull out a 30 kilo Baltic and I swear it looks like a 60 kilo Russian, but... Oh well. 98 Baltic look absolutely insane coming up next to the boat. 2.9 meters. Oh my god, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. And that's two, okay, so my 185 Beluga is 2.5 meters, so Baltics are quite a bit bigger than. Baltics are quite a bit bigger. <laughs> Alright, so if this is turning like... Some size of beluga. I swear to god this thing has mood swings. It'll like calm down and just relax and casually swim. And then it'll go absolutely crazy and do... There it is. Again. It just flipped again. Got the reflection. Haha. <laughs> Stupid. That was a thick head too from that reflection. What the f- What does my line keep doing? It's like... Stretching. My line goes stretch res, I swear. I wanna see this thing flip clean again, not like through reflections. Ah, oh, shit. My light just flickered. Power, I swear to god, if you go out, I'm gonna rage quit. It's kinda windy outside, I think, but I can't tell because my light's on and I can't see outside. So, last court. Okay, got my light off. God, okay, full slack on that turn. Love that. I'm <laughs> pretty sure it's much bigger than yours. Do you have a screenshot of yours, like the head or anything? I mean, I would assume a 111 wouldn't feel much different than a 98. 
this thing feels like a completely different fish compared to the 90, 70, 60. Well, 70 and 60, that's a big difference, but compared to the 90 that I had, it literally doesn't feel like the same species. Dude, I don't understand Baltics. Like, I'll hook a Baltic, right, and I'll lock it up. It'll stop immediately, and I'll pull it back, and I'm like, oh, that's like 20, and it's like 40. And the next Baltic I hook, it, burn, it like, perma-fires me. Yeah. That too, but... I'll, I'll hook another 40 that perma-fires me, can't lock it, and fights for 30 minutes, and then dies and comes straight in, and it's like 45, and I'm like, what the fuck? So, I don't know. I feel like Baltics are kind of like cats in the way you just don't... I, I kind of feel like they have a... There's no way to 100% say until you lane them, just because they're so, like, erratic. Like, double turn right there, back to back, and now he's just gonna... Is he flipping? He just stopped. Pretty sure he's just flipping, he just full-on stopped. There's a turn, there's a turn. What's he doing? I'm gonna try to get up higher. Wait a minute, I can get a really tight angle on him here. I wonder, what would happen if you push a Baltic, like, back there? I don't think I can get this thing out of there, but just, what if you had a giant Baltic in that corner? You know? Just, what if? What, what would it do? Oh yeah, because I'm on 29 friction break. Thing's already slowing way down. Holy reflection! I wish I could see the actual head of the fish instead of just reflections. And tail came out. Well, or very close to it. God, full slack. Flipping again. Just, he's just flipped back there. I barely see the reflection. It's just... That dude, he's just staying there. I'm trying to see if I can see his nose through like the weeds or something. Holy crap. That is a massive body. I'm so annoyed. I am so annoyed that there is weeds right there. No, he's he's not dead at all. He is just continuously flipping. But there's weeds, so you can't actually see his head. You can only see the reflection, and the reflection is... The reflection is about one-third the size of the actual fish. He's literally just flipped like five, six times in the last five minutes. This is crazy. Baltics are just built different, dude. I swear. Alright, call me stupid. But what if I push him more toward that log? Oh, full slack. Okay. I like that. I've just got two more rods that are going to sit out there the whole time. Just not get touched. That's where he seems to flip the most, is right there. <sighs> if only I could see his head. Like, not just the reflection. So I can get the true size, because reflections are a lot smaller than the actual fish. Which sucks a little bit. But, whatever, it's still kind of cool, I guess.
<laughs> by a lot. Oh, I got him near the log. That's... I've kind of got... I've kind of got a feeling if I can keep him near that log long enough to get him to flip, I'd be able to see his head. Not just a reflection. You're thinking 150? Yeah, I was kind of thinking 150 to 180, to be honest. Maybe 130? I don't know, dude. I mean, Baltics also just look generally massive. There shouldn't be any buffering. And he's flipping again. Just cash. He's going again. He's still flipping. He is still flipped. He is holding. He's somewhere just right there, but you can't see him. Oh, it's your Wi-Fi? Alright. Good to know it's not mine. God, I want to see this thing, like, not in a reflection. Yes, 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 yes. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. If only there was more room to run forward, then I can get him to go more that way. But that is a good spot right there. When he flipped there, I actually saw him. When he flipped there, he was in the rocks, and when he flipped right off that point, I saw him. Now, oh, if you just stay there for 30 seconds and flip, be a good Baltic. No, don't do that. Ah, he's back in the weeds. It looks like my line is, like, right here. But the fish is back here. Flipping? No. Maybe you did. I don't know, you can't get out of that whole area, but maybe if I can push him left far enough, I can actually push him... over, like, that way somehow. Probably not, but would be interesting to know if I could. I'm gonna take it off of 29. He's just gonna kill my friction break. Yeah, okay, last, like, eight minutes we've done 2%. Great. That's, that's lovely. I, oh, yeah. Venga needs repair. Oh, okay, he's flipping again. <laughs> oh, he's gonna go for it again any minute now. Damn, this thing is insane. He's had to have flipped over 20 times now. In like the last, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes? Oh, you... Yeah, line guide wears rough. 62. God fucking damn it. Yeah, 62 is. The line guide wears slowing down a little bit. Okay, one, one other thing. One other thing you gotta you gotta consider with this thing's turns, is they're matching up to that of, of like a 200-ish kilo beluga. Except for generally when, when people talk about a 200 kilo beluga turn, we're talking about it from, you know, like 30 to 50 meters away, not 200 meters away, 150 meters away. This thing is, you know, miles away from me and it's still turning like a 200 kilo fish. Well, 200 kilo beluga, granted, they are a hell of a lot longer, but... So, taking into consideration the distance... I mean, the, the reflection looks like... 
that the reflection of the head alone looks like a 150 beluga, I swear. And reflections of fish are one are roughly one third the size of the actual fish. Now if you flip right there, so I can see your damn head. Or don't. Or do. Or do. Or please do. Please be be a good Baltic. Come on, be a good boy. Flip for me. I think he's inside the rock. I'm not sure though. It, it looks like my line is right there, but it's actually like all the way back there. Pretty sure he's flipping again because he just stopped for a good second there. Although I can't really tell. Just, you know, about, oh, I don't know. 150, 180 meters out, something like that. I can't really do the math, but yeah. And by do the math, I mean generally measure it. <laughs> but yeah. So he's in a great spot. Let me stand high. I want to stand up here. Thank you. Man, turns are huge. Let me go back to 29. And two back to back. Full slack. Slack again, God. Just full slack, full slack, full slack, full slack, full slack, and full slack. So all this thing does is turn and slack. I love it. Never get used to it. Stop. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Stop. I'm never gonna get used to that. A fish doing basically anything and going max just completely slack. God, no, don't. It scares me. I've seen too many beluga horror stories of it happening. These things really fight, like, as hard as belugas, if not a little bit harder, even. For their weight, anyway. But they die as quick as hell. Like, when they start slowing down, there's no gradual sl Once they start, they're done. They start slowing down and they're done within the next, like, five minutes. I swear to God. Once they start, it's it just declines exponentially. And then they're completely dead. And then the next challenge of this is going to be... How do I get it back from... Oh, that's a good spot. Go that way, go that way, go that way. Keep going that way, keep going that way. Keep going right, or stay there, even. Yeah, stay in that pocket, even. I think he might have flipped? I think he's flipping, but... No, he's flipping. 
but he's inside the rock, so we can't actually see it. And there he goes, he just fell. Okay. And... Oh my god, I thought I lost him right there. What was that turn? Oh. Heart literally just sank. Don't do that again. Uh, 52 minutes in. Yo, that, that was... Alright, the fact that this thing is full slacking me still, you know, basically an hour in, no slowing down, and he's basically 200 meters, or, you know, 150, 180 meters out, I'd say. Probably about 150, 160 meters out. The fact that he's still full slacking me, not slowing down, and not changing movement is... Oh, God, two full slacks back to back. This is a big freaking fish. How long is a 150 Baltic, I wonder? I would like to know. Like, three meters? No, it's gotta be longer than that. It's gotta be like four and a half, right? Maybe five? I don't know. I'd like to know, though. But I'm not about to look it up. Alright, finger is on shift. Never letting go of shift reel. <laughs> After that, still want to know how long is a 150 Baltic. Genji, if you're in game, could you go look up somebody with a 150 Baltic and tell me about how long it is? First old Dogo Baltic. Dude, imagine if this is the first old Dogo Baltic trophy. I was, uh, yeah, I was about to say. If the, Imagine if this is the first, like, old Dogo Baltic trophy. Although they increased the, the, like, legitimate size of Baltics, not just the max weight, but god damn, you just flipped again. Not, not only did they increase, like, the max weight, <clears throat> they also increased, like, the overall size, like, the thickness, the model itself is bigger. Like, you look at a 90 Baltic from old Lodoga days, and, you know, it looks pretty big. You look at a 90 Baltic now, and it's literally 150 kilo beluga size. Well, yeah, all the big Baltic are on arc, because they have a higher max size, and, you know, hundreds and thousands of more people troll, for bol uh, troll and accidentally hook them than people who do what I do for, you know... 10 hours in one day, sit here in Baltic Fish. <laughs> I'm one of the few, okay? I'm just one of the outliers, alright? Look, man, I did it with Kaluga. Sat on Kaluga, was told you're not gonna get anything, and I got a 270, right? I, I do it on... I, I, I'll sit on the weird fish like this that nobody else thinks to just sit on for 16 hours a day. And I'm just like, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? I don't hook anything. What's the best that can happen? I hook an absolute monster? I'll take that on. I'll sit on blue as nothing will happen. I'll go sit on something stupid like Baltics on Old Ladoga and set the most useless... <laughs> challenge for myself of hook and land like a 100 plus Baltic on old Ladoga, preferably 150 plus. I'll do some, I'll, you know, something like that. And I think it's flipping again. Because it's just there. <laughs> no, seriously, 111 wasn't this great. <laughs> Bro, I think I think we've established this thing is going nuts. Man, I thought Kaluga were weird and crazy with movements, but this thing is just oop. All right, I 
accidentally just unplugged something. Okay, we're good. I, I thought Kalugas were crazy with movement, but this is just... I think it just flipped again. Because it stopped there for a good couple seconds. I think it's flipping again. But we can't see it. Oh, oh, yeah, it's flipping. I see the tip of the nose. Tip of the nose. Right there. Yo. It's just balancing. It really is. It's just balancing. Man, this thing has great balance. I give it that. It's an acrobat. Is it doing it again? No. No, it's gonna full slack me. Energy gone for like the fifth time. These are somehow the fastest and slowest five minutes of my life. That makes sense. I feel like it's been an hour. Okay, now he's just gonna burn me. Alright. Ooh, don't lock. Don't accidentally do that and ruin it all. Don't ruin it all before I even have a chance to land it then. He's flipping again. And he's back to turning. Man, he flips so much right there and right there in those reeds. Right where we can't see him. And it pisses me off. I want to see him again. If he went there to the cafe, it would have been hundred times better for visibility purposes. And he's in the sun. And I can't see anything. I love it. And the sun just disappeared. Love that too. I can get him to go back. Okay, Baltic are super easy to turn and like push them into certain directions, but at the same time they're extremely difficult. Because they'll do three or four turns on top of each other. He's flipping again, isn't he? No, he's not. Because this thing will do three, four turns and, you know, make its way off like 50 meters to the left, thinking, oh, I've got him going more left, and then he does three, four turns and goes 50 meters back right, and it's like, never mind, I don't have him where I want him. <laughs> we'll get him where I want him, and he won't stay there. Come on, fish. Any day now, you can... He's flipping again, isn't he? He's for sure doing it again. Yeah, 100%. He's not stopping, he's just balancing somewhere back there, inside the rocks. Hmm, I wonder, hold on. Is he dying? No, no he's not, he just flipped again. That's the other really bad part about this. I can't see if he's, like, actually slowing down or if he's just balancing there and just not moving. And just flipped and... Wait, if he's in that short grass, I should be able to see him. Flip back there, please. Flip back there, please. Stay back there, please. Flip right there. Flip right there. Flip right there, please. Please be nice. No? Okay. Be an asshole. I get it. If I can get him to flip near the log or that shorter grass on the left, I feel like I'd be able to see him. Although he could also be flipping in too deep of water to actually see his head stick out. Or like, the, just barely the tip of his head is, you know, tip of his nose is sticking out. But I'm just so far away that you wouldn't see it. I know I've got one idea. 
I have one idea. Alright, call me stupid. But, but li listen, if I turn my render distance all the way down, because it is all the way up, if I turn it all the way down, I wonder if it would render those reeds out of distance, or those, like, false rocks out of distance. So if he flips back there, I'd be able to see him. Right? I mean, it's how render distance works, but... Or is it permanently going to stay rendered? Because it's one of those stupid RF4 moments. Like, theoretically, it's not a bad plan. I want to see this thing, besides reflections. Good plan, bad plan, plan? Probably, probably a terrible one, but whatever. I think he's flipping again. I can't be sure anymore because I can't actually see him. starting to slow down though for sure you know what? I'm gonna try it fuck it why is my rendering only halfway hmm nope worth a shot though put it back up to there all right well I tried worth a shot and I think he's doing it again. Or is he dead? I don't know. I can't tell. No, he's not dead. I think he's pretty... Pretty much dying out at this point. He's starting to die at this point. Not starting to, he's definitely dying. Now he's a little easier, maybe. Still big turns, even when he's fully dead and doing them slow. They're still big. Well, he's not fully dead, but. Fuck it. Let's go for a walk, see what happens. Probably bad things. Oh, bad things are gonna happen. Man, that was a sudden just stopping out of nowhere. He died so suddenly, holy crap. I mean, it's only 60 kilo, I don't really have to... Nope, not today. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's dying real quick. Let's see if I can't get him to go... to the right more. So that was basically an hour of just pure turning and flipping and turning and flipping and turning and flipping. blinding me. Just gonna turn them off. Okay, I can see now. Get out of that tree. Baltics die so fast, it's actually weird. You guys watch the fish, I watch the tension. This is gonna be a long process getting them back from there.
Although I'm kind of doing what I did with my... Okay. I'm kind of doing what I, what I did with my 60 Baltic on 84 line, which is using his turns to, to reel him in. And then walking forward on his poles. He's definitely not completely dead. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Okay, he's not. He's not there yet. Yeah, it's big. It's heavy. He's not fully dead. He's just. If I'm not careful, he could easily break me off still. I just gotta... If I can get him to... I mean, Baltics turn really easy. It's like they roll easy is kind of what it feels like. So as long as I can keep him doing these small turns where he's not... doing that... And then I can move him relatively quickly, but it's gonna be a process. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a process. that when he turns and I'm able to just shift real in. That's really nice. But when he's just dead weight, he doesn't move. And he does, but barely. Still not getting his full weight either. So he's that far out. I'm probably not going to get his full weight until he's probably about a quarter of my spool out. Ooh, I don't like it when he does that. He's still alive for sure. Just not. Okay, bud. I don't like what he's doing. He's turning a lot. A little too much for comfort, but. Just gonna stay on the mouse wheel. And take a step down this way. Honestly, this is probably the best spot he could have gone, because if he went toward the cafe, he could have potentially gotten stuck on uh, on the little split-offs on the island over that way. Oh god, that's heavy. Holy sh... He just got heavy. Okay, buddy. Man, I feel like I'm trying to walk back a stubborn... Like a really heavy 98 kilo e sturge against the current in Tunguska. That's what I feel like I'm doing right now. Or even an 80. He's heavy. Alright, here comes the long part of this. Pure weight. How the fuck am I gonna do this? Okay, now he's completely dead. He's not helping me at all anymore. He's fully going against me, so let's see. Can I get an area where I can walk back safely without doing that? Alright, this is a safe spot right here on this line. So I'll go here. Just get him to roll. This thing is heavy, dude. Like, I can't. Like, legitimately hard to move. I can't move it. This is gonna be a struggle. This is gonna be a struggle. 
And I'm still going to straight rod because I don't want the tension on my rod. No walk. Dude. I'm a pro, trust me. God, it's so heavy. <laughs> okay, I did that once. I did that once and it was that tree. I'm not doing it again. And I've got myself a safe walk line. This tree is not actually there. You can walk through that tree. It's not actually there. It's that rock that I'm scared of. You know, if I just reel like this, I'm not gaining anything on him. Oh, he just rolled for me. Thank you. This is going to be a long walk. Ah, oh, this is gonna be... <laughs> so this is my life now. Okay, can I say this equivalently looks like I'm trying to walk back a trophy beluga on a 110 line? Can I say that? Because that's what this feels like. I've never actually done that, but I feel like I'm doing it in the moment. I want to see if I can see him out there. God, this thing is heavy. Alright, how easy did your 111 move on 60 kilo line? That's my question. Okay, got him moving now. Sort of. Now I got him moving. up if I leave it on the mouse wheel for too long because it's such a my hands are big so it's such a tight angle all right let me just get some energy back shake out that cramp because that hurts my knuckles oh okay Okay. Whew. Got a hand cramp. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, let's go back to it. Take the rings off. The rings are getting sweaty. All right, let's try this again. Back in round two. That's such a tight, awkward angle for my middle finger to go. Okay, it actually feels like he's moving easier with high energy. Still absurdly heavy though. Oh, okay. He's still like, even dead turning, he's still decent sized. Well, I say decent sized turns. Just out here breaking records, boys. It's all I'm doing. I don't know how, how heavy we think this is. 
I don't think it's a trophy, but it's big. It is fucking big. Wait, I moved my 185 on... My 185 Luga moved on 60 kilo line. And it moved easier than this, to be honest. It, it moved easier. Then again, that was a much shorter fish. Also, Ladoga has a little current, if you didn't know that. Well, yeah, because I was stupid, too. I was walking back. I wasn't just reeling. I was also walking. Alright, we don't need to talk about that stupidity. But Ladoga's also got a current to it that kind of goes east, I think. Yeah, east. It, it goes back out past the... There's a little current to Ladoga. I noticed. So... That helps. Maybe. At least there's a current out, like, out in the corner. I don't know if there's actually a current here, or how the currents in this game even 100% work, but... I was doing it stupidly, to be honest. I could have just sat there and reeled it till red and let it roll in a lot safer. But I was stopping and starting, which was the dumb part I did. But also, not, not to mention the weight of a fish from as far as this is out compared to what that beluga... I mean, when I was locking that beluga, it was literally 20 meters away. So, the weight difference is... This thing will probably get really heavy again as it gets close. And to think back on a, f a few months ago, this would have been like an absolutely gigantic freaking trophy. Like a year ago, this would have been an absolute monster. And now it's just another 150 or whatever it is. Either way, it's heavy. My my goal to beat beat uh my goal to beat you, Big Daddy, in a uh, in Baltics has so far been accomplished. I've hooked it. I've locked it. Now I just need to land it and not do something stupid. Which shouldn't be hard to do, because I don't I'm not that dumb. Anymore. I used to be really stupid. <sighs> Trust me, I only caught about a hundred. I only caught about, you know, 20 of them or 30 of them that were just like 20. 30 kilos. Caught a lot of tiny ones. Anyway, gonna keep fishing them today. <laughs> Yeah, I bought three 1,000 meter spool of 60 kilo grade, as I, I got spooled while fighting another, while fighting a, like, 40 something Baltic. Second rod got spooled. And it took all but 48 meters of line off a 300 meter spool, and then I went to go buy more. I, I went to go buy more line here at Ladoga, but they were out of stock of 60s and 58s in the 300 meters, so I bought three, and they were out of stock of the 1,000 meter orange line for 60 kilos, so I bought three whites of 1,000 meters, and now we're here. Couple hours, holy tail! Jesus! All right. <laughs> oh fuck, don't flick the mouse, don't laugh. That was a big tail. <laughs> oh, I 
there's a fin out there. I see it. Holy Jesus, that's a fat tail. I see it. Call me stupid, but I'm getting impatient. Okay, but I actually want to see it. Okay, the next question is, do I try to land it right here? Or... There. <laughs> kind of fa- I, I never really thought about where I'd land a massive one. <laughs> I know I'd scare somebody with that. I think I'm gonna try to pull it up right next to my rods, like right. <laughs> kind of like right there, you know? Because I'm pretty sure I saw a, uh, a clip of somebody with a with a trophy Baltic back in the day. It was like 120 that was laying up like right there. So I'll lay it somewhere over there, get some nice screenshots, and then call it a day. And then cast this rod back. Oh, God, I can see textures on the tail. That's a big fish. Okay, there's gotta be a current, right? Because that thing keeps moving, like, that way. And out. Oh, the hand cramp is real. Big hands on a small mouse. Don't like it. I mean, this feels like it's moving too easy to be as, as big as it looks. So there's gotta be a current, right? Like, for as, as, as massive as that looks, this is moving way too easy. Like, I'm not the only one see, seeing this, right? Like, when it was all the way back in that corner pocket and I was initially walking it, it didn't move at all. But once I got it out a little bit more and closer, it started picking up and was coming in really easy for how big it is. At least I feel like it is. I don't know. I might be... I swear to God! <laughs> well, boys, we might have situation number two. A back-to-back 100-plus -back Baltics question mark? If so, wherever that fish goes, if it's big, go left. Don't go right. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Just don't go right. If you run, don't go right. Yeah, that, that happened to me too. I was, I hooked a 50-ish and forgot about the second rod and forgot I had multiple rods out and the second one, oh, okay, getting heavy. Holy shit, that's a... Yo, that fish looks huge! Okay, that, that looks bigger than a 150. What is... Okay, but like... Actually, what does a modern... Trophy Baltic model look like? Now. And what does a Trophy Baltic model look like from when Doga was the only place to get them? Like, full Doga. Free fin screenshot. While well, it's turned toward me, too. Hmm. Really? So you're telling me there's no, there's no way to tell the difference between a Trophy and non-Trophy other than one is giant and one is... Like, mega giant, but holy fin, dude. Yo, that's not a fin, that's a pizza pan, my guy. That's a literal frying pan. <laughs> or, uh, baking sheet. That's not a fin, that is a baking sheet, I swear to god. Like, there's gotta be a current here. Cause there's no way a fish that big is moving that easy on 60 kilo line, right? Damn, 
Like, I see textures on the gill plate. What the? F I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Sheet is huge. <laughs> PD, don't make me laugh. Dude, I can see textures on the gill plate and like the actual bumps of the side of the fish. Like I'm seeing textures on a Baltic I've never seen before in the water that I've only seen because I've actually stared at the model, zoomed in on the, you know, on the stat screen, whatever. Holy crap, that's a big one I swear to god if it's 190 to 199 I'm gonna be mad I'm probably most likely going to alt that for you know press space alt that for and not touch this game for a month I mean, I knew this thing was massive because it was, it, uh, for those who weren't here, it was out over there in those reeds flipping and you could see. You you could literally see half the body and the head and the re out of the reflection. So like the fish was buried behind the reeds, but it was so tall that it reflected off the water and reflections are roughly a third the size of the actual fish and i have a screenshot of a beluga head facing me the same way that the baltic was and the baltic's reflection looks the same size as the beluga head the beluga was 150 kilos the baltic's reflection looked the same size oh true but to be fair the even the reflection is giant. And it's only about a third the size of the actual fish. So. Come on, fish. Can you move any slower? I mean, in some places, the line actually went, like, behind the weeds toward the log. Like, it hit the log and... I mean, things always look short. Baltics look fat to me. And short. They, they look a lot shorter than they actually, like, measure up to be, but they still look massive. On, bring your head this way. Thank you. Bring your head this way. Good fish. Alright. I'll just... Eventually... I see an eye. I see an eye. Woo! That's a monster. That is a big friggin... Baltic. I'm saying minimum is 150. Maximum, I have no damn clue. <laughs> that tail is huge. Okay, just me or is that tail like disproportionately large to the actual fish? Oh, no. Not oh, wrong button. I see my mole cricket. <laughs> Seriously, Baltic models look so weird in the water. The head is massive, the tail is huge, but the body section is so small. Okay, I want to bring it... Yeah, you came back at a good time. I want to bring it... Oh, I wanted it to roll. Roll over. Roll over. Looks kind of like a Russian at that angle, not gonna lie. Roll over. I'm trying to roll this thing over. Roll over. Roll over. I want a good screenshot. Good enough. 
Yes. Holy screenshot. All right. Drink time. Is that all I have? Oh, wait. Yeah, blue Russian. Seriously. I don't know how drunk I'm actually going to be able to get off of this, but I'm trying. Game. Game. Gem. 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 Please. Can I get drunker? No? You not finna let me? Now you do. I'm still, like, barely drunk. Game. Shit's weak. Moonshine. Game, please. Thank you. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're somewhere. Alright, I want more, though. Game, please. I want max XP for this, just because I can. Give me a reason to drink my moonshine, which I barely touch. Any day now. 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 I'm gonna go with somewhere in the range of 50 to 250. Alright, Gusev, how do I do that? Catch it already. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. A monkey. 130. I'll take that any day, dude. Yeah. 127. I like it. That was bigger than a one... Whatever you had, Genji. 111. I want another one. Did I screenshot that? Probably not. I'm a dumbass. Eh. I'm a dumbass and didn't screenshot it where I should have. BD, save me. <laughs> uh, just print screen. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I've only caught, like, one Baltic near 100. So, I don't know, that was going off of pure random guesses, and hey. Guess I got pretty close. Alright, hold on, let me just re-watch my stream for a second, just... Get it right there, and then just... Three minutes. That was a hell of a fight. Let me just, uh. I got of it, like, rolling over. Alright, thank you, everybody. Alright, let's try this again. Holy crap, I'm tipsy as hell. Boa. 
sneezing. This would have been a trophy back in the day, and it would have been a friggin' large one. Alright, now the question is, did that pay- <laughs> oh, okay. Did that pay for the 6% friction damage that it did? Probably not. That's not gonna make that close. Alright, here we- here we go, here we go. Hey! I made a straight cast, I'm not sure how. But, yeah. One of these rods out of bite at some point. Uh, on, on. Alright, let's light this place up. Alright, now if only I can get a 127 E Sturge like that. Man. To think that if that were a trophy, it would have been like a thousand silver or something back in the day. Alright, so how long is that exactly? Alright, so that's 3.2 meters at 127. My beluga's 2.5 meters, so god, it's long. Kaluga's 3.02, so it's slightly longer than that. And my Kaluga's 273, and my Kaluga's almost 300. What am I catfish? Wait, are they the same length as catfish? No, catfish are long as fuck. 99 cat, 3.08 meters. And that Baltic was... 3.2. What about Easter? Oh, Easter to 84 is 2.6. I so, mean, yeah, they're kind of small, too. Dude, what? Come on! I swear to God. Yo, I just put this rod down. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> oh no. Yep, alright. Here we are. Round two. Okay. Not again. Fuck it. Pause, reset, resume. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> oh no. Ain't no thirty in a pull like that. No. Alright, this is like a 40, maybe 50. Ah, Jesus. Alright, go left. Yeah. No, not stopping it. <sighs> Yo, I just put this rod back out. Beauty of all the 30s I've had, none of them pulled like that. This rod wasn't even in the water for five minutes. <laughs> God, this feels so small compared to what I just hooked. Walking fish tipsy is generally a terrible idea. 
because you have a little bit of raw display that could quite literally screw you over. <sighs> These are just long beluga. I mean, you're not wrong. These things are stupidly strong. And long. Alright, so on one day I've set, I've put up two absolute water body records uh, for USA region. That's so impressive, I know. It's actually crazy. I'm hacking. You know, 12 kilo bourbon, number one, or number two USA, I think. I think it's number two USA of all, like, all, all regions, and number one USA water body so far. Okay, dude, this might be like another 50-ish. I don't know, though. It's impossible. God! Okay, I'm sorry. Don't do that. Why is that not going more left? I normally go immediately left, like down that canal, not there. Yeah, they immediately go there, not where this one's going. This one also confuses me. This one's trying to be different. Are you serious? I hooked another one! That's like decent ish. I mean, it's not big by any means, but it's. Well, it might be. Actually, well, considering. Eh, maybe 50. 40 to 50, I think, is a good guess on this one. This one is guessable. I'm going with the 40 to 50 mark. And rip this Vanga, 150%. This Vanga is not having fun. And I was expecting to like, end this stream and have to wait another like three days, four days of sitting on this spot only, and probably not ever hook another 100 plus, and here I am already hooking a 40 to 50, like not even, on the same rod, no less. Okay, but like, why is this going so slow? Like, actually, I feel like it's going slow. Like, even... Go back there, that's fine. Yeah, I, I feel like this is really slow. Like, even for the 30s and 40s I've caught before, they ran faster than this, but this pulls harder. That makes sense. Not even a 20 ran faster than this thing for a few minutes. Why does this feel so slow? I'm so confused. Eh. 
And Ben is just gonna go hang out back there. Okay. Ah, that thing pulls so fast. That's pulling like a, that's pulling like a, like 52 or whatever it was that I had. Uh, like 40, 48, 50, whatever, I, whatever the hell I had on 84, it's pulling through like that. This one's just fighting kind of weird. Okay, it's just... Stopped? Yeah. It's not... Flipping. What? What is this one doing? I'm so confused. Dead? Uh, it might be dead. It might already be dead. I don't know. No, now it's running. Why did it just stop? Okay, slow enough I can reel it in. I might need to pull a boat rescue mission on this one. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see if I can get it this way. Huh? Stop, fish. Stop. I don't like it when you do that. It's not nice. Alright, come here. You're like 30 to 50. 
Probably not 50, but like 40 maybe. 35, 40. Possibly, I don't know. I don't know what these things anymore. Ooh, okay, don't do that. I'm pretty sure this is the song that was playing either A, when my Kaluga flipped for the first time, like fully head out the water, we all saw it, or when I landed it. One of the two. I need a new third TI. This thing is getting shredded. This one was annoying.
God, that one was annoying as hell. It's like 30, 35, I don't know. I have no idea what these things. 30. Worst 30 I've ever had. Usually I can stop 30s within oh, 30 seconds. Generally. Twenty nine point six seven six. I don't understand how that wasn't even thirty. And these things just don't make sense. I'm done guessing sizes on these things. Like they don't, they they don't make sense. They just, they just don't make sense. At first, it was like, I'm so, it was turning like a 20, running like a 30, and had the weight of a 40 at first, and then it, and then it was turning like a 10, running like a 10, and had the weight of a 15. These things just don't make, just don't make no damn sense. And here comes a screenshot spam of reflections. Okay. Now. Let's actually get that tightened down. Wait for that to do its thing. Okay. Hop in said boat. Did I unlock that rod? I'm gonna ask myself. Yes, I did. Dude, this rod has been abused. 50 Baltic, 127 Baltic, uh, 270. Beluga, 380 plus cats, and a 150 Beluga, all in one lifespan. 
Thing's been abused. There are 280 plus caps. Anyway, that third rod hook's all the dang big fish. Running out of holes quick. Even though I've only got them on one rod. I swear. Oh, there's an extra rod stand over there. Gonna me it. But I swear I'm gonna get back to price check this thing. Poke my head out, and one of them rods is gonna be folded in the line. And I'm gonna come back and see a Baltic flipping right in front of the cafe. I don't know if the uh, Baltic can act, or fish can flip when. Oh. Well, I got that order. That's cool. 291. How much is a regular 12 kilo? Or it can't be more than like 180, right? Yeah, 182. Holy. Well, 300 silver an hour. 556 for that Baltic there. Take out the fire bits and we're down to 1300. I mean, those 1400. So 1500. And a cafe for 300. There's 300 there. So, four hours of fishing, well, three and a half hours of fishing minus an hour and a half fight. I swear I heard a beat. I'm hearing things. That one light is so far away from the other two, and those two are really close. That bothers me. That's also probably why I can see shit. It's because I'm three lights are basically on top of each other. Alright. I'm not going to change anything, no. Okay, well, I'm going to end stream here and uh, keep doing this. And eventually I'll either hook something huge or I, you won't hear from me for a few days, at least stream-wise. Yeah, it's, it's how that goes, you know, I'll either hook big things or make cat videos or whatever, or I just kind of disappear for a little bit. Alright, well. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later. Good night, everybody. Tight lines.